Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last two or three videos, uh, we met our partner in crime, Eric, and helped him restore his memory as well as saving his beloved sister, Mia. So today, with the main story, we will finally be heading to Arborea. Oh my god. After few distractions along the way, we can finally depart to Arborea. So yeah, without further ado, let's get going. We are nearly there, guys. Something is so, not right here. So let's see what happens here. <sighs> Behind me. That's the frozen dragon. Well, was frozen previously, but now he somehow escaped. But how come you are released? My lengthy imprisonment has slowly depleted my powers. I'm pretty sure this has something to do with Mord again. So the dragon is called Auroral Serpent. Let's finish this off quickly.
Alright, the dragon is down, so let's get going to Arborea. Come on! Come on! Come on! I cannot wait to reach Arborea! Oh, interesting. So it was made frozen by Earthwind, the previous luminary. What the okay. Mm. Can't move. Oh, this is bad. That's the harp. That's the sound of a harp. The twins are here. Straining away. What is that awful noise? Hold on. Where's the other twin? I hope she's somewhere. Don't worry, everyone. I'll have you back on your feet in no time. No way! Bold luminary, Yggdrasil's chosen. Long have I waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. It's ever so nice to see you all again. Serena, it's really you. Thanks for helping us out there. Where did you spring from, and where have you been? I've been trying to make my way back to Arborea ever since... that awful day. But I got rather sidetracked seeing to those who needed my help. When I heard that the golden iceberg blocking Sniffelheim Harbour had melted away, I decided to try and make my way home from there. I never thought I'd meet you on the way. You're heading to Arborea, eh? We're on our way there ourselves. Reckoned you keepers would be the best folk to ask about a certain sacred flying contraption. A flying contraption? Well, I've never heard of such a thing, but I'm sure Father Benedictus will know something about it. It's so wonderful to see you all again. Oh, nice to see you too awful as well, Serena. Let's get going, let's get going! Enough shit chat. <laughs> Today I'm so impatient, guys. <laughs> I just want to get to Arborea. If we follow the path up the mountain, we'll be in Arborea in no time. Well then, shall we?
Finally, guys, we are here. But look at all the destruction. Awful. It was so beautiful here before. Our poor little angels. Veronica, Serena, please come back. We'll do anything. Fidelis. Oh, they are Alma, so Veronica is not here? not lose hope. Veronica and Serena are the heirs to the power of that most holy of sages. Mm. As long as they are together, there is nothing that can... Oh. Serena? Is it really you? Mother? Father? You're alive! Oh, Serena, my little angel. I never thought I'd see you again. Serena, my child, have you come back to us alone? What of Veronica? She, she's not here. But, but I thought she must have made her way home already. It is likely. Hmm. hmm. She's certainly somewhere nearby. I can sense it. Somewhere north of here. You can really tell where she is? <laughs> yes, it's her. I know it is. We have to go and find her. Okay. That's heading north. Veronica should be here. Hmm. You think Veronica's really here? If she is, she's keeping a low profile. <laughs> exactly, when we were children, Eric. Veronica and I would often come to this grove to play. I was sure she would be waiting for me here. Veronica! Veronica, where are you? Oh. <gasps> Oh, there she is! Uh, there she is. I knew it! We are a full group again! <laughs> Wake up, lazy bones! You'll catch cold sleeping outside like this! What happens to her? Veronica? Look, her staff is shining, and so is the mark on your hand. We should touch it. Do you think if you touch it, you might have one of your visions? Let's find out what happened to Veronica after the Yggdrasil fall. That's when everything started. Oh no! This can't be happening! If Idrisil falls, the world will... Everyone was alive, all because of Veronica's power. You're the only ones who can save this world. Don't this brings tears down. to my eyes, guys. <sighs> the 
This is sad. You have to go on without me, Serena. Look after the luminary. This is sad. <sighs> oh, Veronica. Bless your heart, Veronica. Oh my. Veronica, you gave your life to save us. No. final moments you were thinking of your friends no this is a sad moment guys oh, Veronica. <laughs> why must the good die young Everyone, I have to tell mother and father. <sighs> okay, I think we should go back and accompany Serena to tell everyone. Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the symbol of all life. Today, we mourn the loss of a beloved child of Arborea. Though she came into life with another of your hallowed leaves, she departed this realm alone. May she one day return to you and bloom again upon your branches. I thank you all for gathering here today to celebrate the life of my dear sister. Even in her darkest hour, Veronica thought not of herself, but only of protecting the luminary. She was a keeper to the last. Now, I ask that each of you offer up a lock of hair to the sacred flame, that its light may guide her on her way back to the world tree. My little angel. <laughs> Curse you, Mordigan. Why could you not have taken me instead? My darling, darling daughter. How could you leave us without saying goodbye? Serena appears steadfast despite her grief. But the sight of her poor parents is heartbreaking indeed. 
My child, I must speak with you and your friends. When you have a moment, please come to the cathedral. Yes, Benedictus. Forgive me for summoning you here at this time of sadness, but there is something I believe you will be eager to hear. You came in search of the sacred conveyance upon which Erdwin and his allies rode out to face the Dark One, did you not? How did you know that? Well, some days before your arrival, Holy Yggdrasil granted me another vision. I saw you, honored luminary. You were standing alongside Serena upon a great white object that transported you to an island in the sky. A strange and beautiful place. And you think this was a vision of the future? I do. For in my dream, Veronica was not with you. I have been greatly troubled as to what her absence ah, might mean. Ah, so he knew I it from the beginning. And prayed that my fears were unfounded, yet, alas, they were not. Which made me wonder if the conveyance upon which you stood might also be real. And then, I remembered. Cetacea. The legends tell of a divine being who soared through the skies on silver wings. A beast summoned to Edwin's side by a mystical melody. Perhaps mystical it was upon melody. Cetacea's back that you rode in my vision. And perhaps the island upon which you alighted is the next step on your journey. Okay. I intend to scour the annals for indications of how she might be summoned. I will inform you forthwith if my researches should prove fruitful. Now... The day's unhappy events have surely taken their toll. Rooms have been prepared for you all at the inn. Pray, rest a while. Great. Let's go to the inn. Sure, she's still sad. It's a love song from the Age of Heroes. The story of a lady pining for her long lost sweetheart. No one remembers who wrote it, but I've loved it since I was a little girl. You know, something's been bothering me. We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? This is a flashback we'll just before you Drusilla fall. At the same time too. Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. But I hope they do. <laughs> Serena, I want you to promise me something. If anything happens to me, promise you'll finish this without me. <gasps> I shan't promise anything of the sort. I don't even want to think of such things. Hmm. 
Somehow Veronica knows it. Perhaps she might have been able to make her sacrifice more easily. She was right, you know. I always have been slow. When it came to talking, or walking, or learning magic, I was always a step behind her. But now I must tread my own path. Alone. <laughs> I hate to ask, Runa. but would you mind awfully not going anywhere for a little while? I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh, Srina. If you are here, I would like to hug you. Thank you. I'm sorry to be such a bother. But I shan't be one any longer. Veronica died to save me. I must make the most of my life. For her sake. My spirit. <sighs> no more tears. That was the old me. Goodbye. We will have a good news soon. Somehow I have a feeling Veronica, Veronica's power will be with Serena. So Serena will be able to support as well as using world? magic to attack. I feel different. <gasps> okay. This is good. Thank you, dear sister. All right, we should go back to the inn and sleep properly now. It's a new day. Let's see whether we will find something. Good morning, or should I say, good afternoon? The sun's already high in the sky. Father Benedictus <laughs> dropped by earlier. He says he has something to show us at the top of the mountain. Everyone else has gone on ahead, but I thought I'd wait for you. Shall we go and join them? There's a little door to the right of the cathedral. The path is through there. Well, let's get going.
There you are. So glad you could finally join us. I'm sorry to wake up so late, with another father. Vision in the night. <laughs> I saw Veronica standing upon this very ledge. It is known as Luminary's Landing. When Luminary's Edwin landing. descended from the heavens after facing the Dark One, this is where he alighted. And this is the Calamus Flute. In my dream, Veronica played upon it. It once belonged to the great sage Serenica. She left it in Arborea on her final visit, the day after the Dark One finally fell. I gave it to Veronica as a memento of her heroic ancestor. And yet, when I awoke this morning, there it was upon my pillow. Oh, bless Veronica. It is a sign. The flute will reveal the path you must tread. Serena, my child, if you would be so kind. Of course. Nothing has happened. I must be doing it wrong. But if Veronica was playing it in Father Benedictus's vision, it must be the key. Can you try, perhaps? Let the luminary try. The mark! It's glowing! Oh. <laughs> what is this? What so it's not a flute. A fishing rod? I fear it is I who am seeing visions. <laughs> it is a fishing rod. You got a bite. Oh, go on, darling. Reel it in. So that is Satasia. A flying whale. Interesting. A flying fish. No, that's a whale. <laughs> so it was as I what suspected. What a sight, everyone! What a sight! It was upon her back that you rode in my dream. The sacred conveyance of the luminary, Cetacea. It seems that she heeds the call of the flute. You must play it whenever you require her aid. Great. So, guys, Go, in the luminary, next video, I will be traveling the with this flute. It is the world tree's will. Whatever awaits you there, will surely aid you in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. Do not let Veronica's sacrifice be in vain. Now, play. This is great.
Alright guys, I think this is a good time for me to end the video and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next videos where we are gonna explore all the islands that we can visit using this Cetacea. Bye bye!